Good Friday for Jesus. As we get prepared for the reenactment of this scene here at Golgotha, we remember that Jesus did this for each and every one of us. When you see his beaten, broken, bruised, and bloody body, remember every lash, every cut, every tear, every kick, every look, whip, that is to say, the place of the skull. They nailed him to a cross between the two criminals. Putting nails through his wrists. Wine to drink, which was used 
to dull the pain. But when Jesus had tasted it, he refused and he would not drink. They then divided his garments among them, rolling dice, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They divided my garments among them, and oh, that's for fine. my clothing they oh, yeah. cast lots. and saying, King of Israel, come down from that cross, and we will believe you now. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the Son of God. his son to be treated like that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm to 
break the legs of the malefactors. So that they would die before the Passover. Thank 
a member of the council, a good and an upright man who had not consented to their decision and action. He came from the Judean town of Arimathea, and he himself was waiting for the kingdom of God. He had gotten permission from Pilate to have the body of Jesus. So with the guards' help, they took take Jesus' body after wrapping it in the linen they make their way way to Joseph's own tomb, caught in the rock, one in which no one had yet been laid. Joseph rolls a large stone across the entrance of the tomb after the body is placed in the tomb. Remember, as you go through this weekend, the lashes that Jesus took for you. After they roll a large stone across the entrance of the tomb and the Roman soldiers stand guard, it was preparation day and the Sabbath was about to begin. The women who had come with Jesus from Galilee had followed, followed Joseph and saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it. They considered how they would prepare the spices and the perfume to bring back for Jesus' body after the Passover feast. We have to remember what this means to each and every one of us, that we want the Spirit of God to fall on us after seeing what has happened and 
being part of this today. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. I believe you are the Son of God who rose from the dead, who died on the cross, but rose on that Sunday morning to save me from my sins. I confess my sins and I ask your forgiveness into my heart. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, please see one of us after so that we can give you a hug and let you know how the angels are rejoicing for you. That is based on Romans the 10th chapter and the verses 9 to 11 because it is the desire of the Eastern Ministerial Association that through this walk to Calvary you may be encouraged to have a personal relationship with our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. You can see an invitation also in your bulletin. We know heaven is rejoicing today for those who have prayed this prayer for the first time. Whether you are Catholic, Protestant, Methodist, Baptist, Anglican, whatever your denomination, it does not matter. We just want you to know that Jesus did this for each and every one of us. So whatever faith tradition you are in, take the next step to stay with and continue a relationship with Christ. Here ends our reenactment. Please feel free to go as those women did on that resurrection Sunday morning and tell others of what Jesus did for you. There will be sunrise service here 
at 6.30 on up, Sunday morning and various places up, around the island. Make sure you celebrate somewhere on Sunday morning because Jesus will rise. Hallelujah! He rises on Sunday morning so that we can spend eternity with him where Jesus will no longer be found in this tomb but will have risen from death. Thank you for joining us and taking part in our annual walk to Calvary. God bless you and have a good, good Friday.